We got to find, try to find a way, a solution to fix this problem. Storms across the city caused widespread street flooding. Good evening, I'm Kim Holden. And I'm Lee Zurich. A turbine in New Orleans stopped working during today's heavy rain. Amanda Roberts joins us live with more on the investigation into what exactly happened. Well, it was only a few hours ago that a lot of the water here in Gentilly finally receded from area roadways. And one engineer we spoke with said he believes that there are more issues at play than just one tripped turbine. Despite every effort to save their cars from floodwaters, Forrest Gaines still found himself shop vacuuming the floorboards. Every little hard rain, it, it does that. It rains, it floods, and then it goes away. Gaines says he's used to some water accumulating near his home, but when it takes the better part of a day to drain, he knows something went wrong. One day they need to replace it, the whole thing, because patching it, it doesn't do any good. The bottom line is that this was more rain that our system could handle. The storage and water board admits more investigation is still needed, but they found turbine four, a major power generator for the system was overloaded and tripped off. That caused a number of pumps to stop working. And with turbine five still down after exploding in December, sewage and water board executive director Gassan Corbin says the city's drainage system is in a very precarious state this hurricane season. So we have redundancy in the system. It's not the redundancy we need. It's not the redundancy we had a year ago. So I've been, I've been saying this transparently to everybody that we are going into this season with more fragile system. There are fragilities in any system that's as old as ours is and systems that have been that have had the maintenance issues that we've had over the past 20 years. You don't find two automobiles in our box culverts if it's properly maintained. The amount of rain was enough to overwhelm the system, according to civil engineer H.J. Bosworth. But he says the issue with this event may be as simple as human error. The right switches weren't turned on at the right time. I think with Turbine 5 being down, they have to rely more heavily on those new temporary containerized generators that they have. And that's not the normal day in, day out operation that they were accustomed to. And once they realized that it had hit the fan or hit the streets, that they hurried and turned everything back on. He says this definitely raises questions about whether the utility had enough people working this morning to turn on the pumps, generators, and switch the power at the right time. Because even an unnamed storm can cause some damage. Just think, if we get another rain, hard rain like this, four or five inches of rain, we might be in another Katrina. Turbine 4 was down for a couple hours today and going into hurricane season, Corbin said this is exactly what he was worried about. Turbine 4 getting overloaded and that is what we saw today. But nothing was mentioned today about staffing concerns. For now, reporting live in Gentilly, I'm Amanda Roberts, Fox 8 Local First.